So Swift GPI is actually um, a service level um, agreement to which banks participating in GPI sign up to. Uh, but the, the rails and the, the uh, uh, actual execution of the payment is exactly the same for a normal SWIFT payment and, uh, as it is for a GPI payment. There are only a slight uh, number of differences which I uh, can explain. So the service level uh, that banks are signing up to with GPI um, impose them or, or they agree by doing that they agree to execute the payment in a certain uh, at certain speed uh, within a certain time frame they agree to be transparent about the charges that they are levying on these payments they agree to be transparent uh, on the information that they are forwarding so there is no information that is being dropped or altered in the payment when they forward the payment um, and these payments are being tracked and traced in a central database uh, to be able to um, uh, allow the initiating parties to follow up on the payment on, uh, to, to see where it sits and where it is. Uh, 